All right, you know what that sound means, folks. It is basketball. Good evening and welcome to Governor Mifflin Intermediate School just outside of Reading, Pennsylvania, and the site of the second round of the PIAA State Class AA Boys Basketball Tournament. And we're down to Sweet 16, the winner moving on to the quarterfinals uh, versus the winner of the Holy Cross and that Holy Cross team 24-5 and five, against Delaware Valley Charter 10-15. and 15. That game is being played elsewhere tonight at uh, just about 10, 15 minutes from now. Tonight we have the matchup between your Squires of Delone Catholic, the number one seed from District 3, coming in at 18-8, and, and the 17-9 and nine Generals from Constitution High School, the third seed from District 12. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Hanover Clothing Company. Gentlemen, when was the last time you got a, a high-end suit for $199? Get over there and see our friend Dave Dubs right now, and for a limited time, you can also get a shirt and tie as well. For 90 years now, Hanover Clothing Company has been fitting the best-dressed men in Hanover. Stop in and see Dave at Hanover Clothing today on Carlisle Street in downtown Hanover, 717-632-3323, and see him on the web, www.hanoverclothing.com. Also by Miller Brown Ohm and Associates. Get your tax advice from people who understand tax law as well as the communities they serve. MBOA's staff and associates understand their customers and serve them with the highest ethical standards. Take time now to get to know the people who you do business with. Miller Brown Ohm and Associates, 335 Main Street in McSherrystown, 717-637-1500. Finally, by Bay City Restaurant and Seafood Company, located in Hanover, Pennsylvania. It's a family-owned restaurant. It serves the finest quality USDA hand-cut steaks and the area's freshest seafood selection of seafood. Their large menu gives their customers a variety of choices, as well as delicious pasta, sizzling steaks, juicy prime rib, chicken, and, of course, seafood. Broiled fresh, fresh fish, <laughs> steamed oysters and clams, homemade backfin crab cakes, scallops, mouth-watering crab legs, butter-drenched lobster, and much, much, much more. From York to Harrisburg, Lancaster to Gettysburg, and everywhere in between, Bay City is worth the drive for a great night out. Bay City Restaurant, 110 Eisenhower Drive in Hanover, Pennsylvania, www.baycity.com. Com. Again, thanks for joining us on DCBN, the Delone Catholic Broadcast Network. I'm Dan Coggan. Hey, the 17-9 generals from Constitution High School come into this game by virtue of their 66-28 shellacking of Notre Dame of Green Pond at William Allen High School in Allentown on Saturday night. The generals inflicted a powerful half-court trapping defense, very, very similar to the one that Delone Catholic uses, and they completely stifled the Crusaders with their speed. Constitution came out strong, building a 15-3 lead well into the first quarter. The, Cru the, the uh, Crusaders could only muster a free throw in the first seven minutes of the game. The Crusaders weathered that storm, though, and got rolling a bit here, uh, uh, a bit in the, uh, and got the lead down to 12 in the second quarter, but enter Kemar Williams. Constitution's 5'10 sophomore guard, he caught fire. In the span of two minutes, Williams put six of his 19 points in to up that lead to 25-9. In the second half, things just got worse for the Crusaders as the Generals opened up a 44-12 Canyon. The hole was 26-12 before the suffocating defense of the Generals held the Crusaders scoreless for all but two minutes left in the third quarter. For the game, Williams was automatic from the field, shooting 8 of 10, while also got, three point, uh, got both of his three-point attempts. To add insult to injury, Williams was perfect, 2 for 2 from the charity stripe. As a team, the Generals shot 58% from the field and 50 from beyond the arc, 50% from three-point range. Ahmad Gilbert and Floyd Preto both contributed 11 points for the Generals. Delone Catholic, of course, they're coming off their 63-47 win over the Hornets of Wellsboro area at Northern High School on Saturday. DCBN viewers watched as Brett, Delone's Brett Smith fired quickly, uh, fired out quickly, excuse me, scoring eight points, helping the Squires build a 16-2 lead in the first quarter. The Squires were in control of the game virtually from the start. And uh, they didn't allow a lead to get below nine points as Brett dropped the total of 20 points, four uh, rebounds, and four assists. In that initial quarter, the Squires forced seven Wellsboro turnovers. Uh, Smith, in addition to helping the, to pad the lead, had the duty of guarding Wellsboro's leading scorer, Jordan Jackson. Jordan Jackson averaged 14 to 16 points a game. He held him to two points all day, and those came from the foul line. Jackson fell well below that average of 14 points, but Brillen Prowl led the Hornets with, with 14 on his own. Normally, the play of Smith would be good enough for a coach to be happy about, but Delone didn't, the scoring didn't stop there. 
Devin Moore had a breakout game as well, shooting just one point short of, of Brett Smith at 19. Together, the duo counted for more than half of DeLone Catholic's 63 points. And even with those two scoring blasts, it was really a team win. From the defensive side of the ball, it, was, it came from all of the Squires. Almost from the start, it was pretty evident that the Hornets were overmatched, and the quickness of DeLone Catholic in that starting rotation just overwhelmed them. Tonight's game, well, those who haven't watched the Squires much this year have them as a huge underdog against the lightning speed of Constitution, but I think people are just going to be surprised here tonight. I just have a feeling. The Squires, uh, we can tribute uh, credit Coach Dooley for arranging games against stronger opponents throughout the season. Burks Catholic, Calvert Hall, Maria Goretti, all those games in which the Squires have performed well against quick teams. Uh, they've thoroughly been prepared, this group, uh, for just such a game tonight. How the Squires react to what could be a mirror image of themselves is yet to be seen, but it's a little bit short-sighted for those people that, uh, to count the Squires out in the game that, that is relying on quickness um, to, to do well. We are going to take our first break of the evening, and we will be right back. Stay with us. If you're looking for a blend of personal service and expertise, Miller Brown Omen Associates should be your first stop. Offering a broad range of services, MBOA serves business owners, executives, and independent professionals alike. Their service encompasses nearly every aspect of professional life, and their business's reputation reflects the high standards they demand of themselves. Miller Brown Omen Associates Certified Public Accountants, 335 Main Street, McSherrystown, 717-637-1500. Do you want to find a men's store that makes your shopping experience easy? At Hanover Clothing Company, we have it all. From traditional to trendy, you'll find the perfect men's apparel. Our friendly staff will find exactly what you need. For over 82 years, we've had affordable prices on all of our clothing, including pants, suits, ties, and more. We also have big and tall sizes in every department and made-to-measure suits. Come in today to Hanover Clothing or visit us on the web at www.hanoverclothing.com. Hanover Clothing Company, 42 Carlisle Street, Hanover. Bay City Restaurant in Hanover is celebrating 50 years in business. Come out and celebrate with us and have fun, plus enjoy great food. Our quality food truly sets us apart with sizzling hand-cut steaks, fresh seafood selections, delicious pasta, and so much more. Plus, with 20 dinner entrees under $15, it's an affordable night out. Don't miss the excitement at Bay City Restaurant as we celebrate 50 years. Bay City Restaurant, it's more than a restaurant, it's a night out. All right, sorry for the delay. Uh, we are back here at Governor Mifflin Intermediate School. We're playing in an intermediate school here tonight, Chad. <laughs> Chad shows up here tonight, and we put him in a corner. <laughs> All right, this is the point in time in the pregame show where we talk about the things and the things that are going on around at DeLone Catholic. Well, first of all, I want to mention to you, uh, I did watch the – I rarely go back and watch games, uh, but I did go back and watch last night's game, and we do want to apologize – uh, for the uh, audio the way it was last night. It was extremely loud, and we apologize for that. Unfortunately, we have no way of knowing what it's, how it's coming across to you from the, from the position of broadcasting. Uh, we check it on Ustream, but, you know, we just can't see or, he or can't he hear uh, what you hear. <clears throat> and I understand that the uh, program, the, uh, the sponsorship spots were a little lower. Uh, so we apologize, and I cannot, to be honest right now, tell you if that's been rectified. We had made some stops or, or some uh, alterations here tonight to hopefully maybe I'm not coming across and blaring in your ear tonight. So if you do, just kind of turn it down a little bit, and we'll, uh, we'll try not to uh, annoy you <laughs> as the process goes on. But anyway, this is what's going on at DeLone Catholic. Uh, last night we mentioned it. The DeLone Catholic Board of Directors invites uh, students, parents, alumni, and friends to share their opinions as they perform their regular review of the strategic planning of DeLone Catholic High School. Now, if you're not sure what a strategic plan is, if you're not in business, just to give you a little bit of an idea, I mean, it, it, it basically is, how do we run this school? Uh, what can we do better? What have we done that, that maybe we can improve on? And they're asking for your feedback on what, they, what you think we can, they can do to make DeLone Catholic a better institution. It's a fine one. It's a great institution. But you know what? We always like to hear from people that are affected. And those stakeholders are asked to go fill out a short questionnaire. It won't take you very long. Uh, I think it's maybe five pages when I looked at it. But, uh, you know, they, they ask you to take some time and share your opinions. And that's available at the uh, DeLone Catholic website, www.deloncatholic.org. 
Want to join the family, faculty, family, and friends Relay for Life team for another year of celebrating those who have survived cancer, remembering those who have not, and fighting back against the disease that affects so many. Plan to attend our Cash Bingo, the Right to Life, uh, excuse me, the Relay for Life uh, Cash Bingo on Sunday, April the 7th. Doors open at 12 p.m. and bingo starts at 2 there will be uh, speed bingo, door prizes, etc. So put that on your calendar now and, uh, and get out to DeLone Catholic. <clears throat> of course, DeLone Spring Musical is coming up this weekend. It is uh, coming to the old gym stage this Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Friday and Saturday, the curtain goes up at 7 o'clock for Rogers and Hammerstein Cinderella. we got a little bit of a sneak preview of that at the uh, annual slop dinner, of those of you who had attended. Uh, but it uh, looks like it's going to be a really nice show. Sunday, the curtain call is 2 p.m., so your tickets are $5 for adults, $3 for students, and if you bring your student ID to Lone Catholic uh, students, you'll get in free. We'd like to thank everybody who came out to support the Hanover Relay for Life Teams event at Chili's the past two nights. Chili's, uh, sources at Chili's tell me that it was a huge turnout and most likely one of the top two that they have seen at Chili's so far since they've been doing it. So congratulations to the entire Relay for Life team for putting together a great fundraiser and more importantly uh, to the Hanover area for adding your support to the fight against cancer. Last but certainly not least, we want to bring your attention to another effort underway in the area. Gifts for the Heart for Downs is an organization that funds, that raises funds to assist in granting wishes for children with Down syndrome. Tammy Brill is a member of the Lone Catholic High School's class of 1987, and her daughter Kaylee are collecting shoes of any size, shape, condition uh, in an effort to not only raise money, but also to uh, bring awareness to um, to the cause, excuse me, I've lost my place here, but uh, to the cause of Down Syndrome. Town M Video in McSherry's Town is attempting to help Kaylee and Tammy in their efforts, and we invite you to bring your shoes, no matter what condition, size, or otherwise, to Town M Video. Uh, and we will make arrangements to get those to Tammy. Uh, Town M Video is located in McSherry's Town at 355 Ridge Avenue. You can also donate those shoes directly to Tammy at 315 Oxford Road in New Oxford. If you have any questions and you, or, or you want to you know, figure out, find out if you can help, uh, give Tammy a call uh, at 717-521-9656, or you can get in contact with us at Town M Video, 717-632-8274. Of course, we'll do the best we can to answer any specific questions. We're going to take our second break. We're about seven minutes from the introductions. We'll be right back here on DCBN. If you're looking for a blend of personal service and expertise, Miller Brown Ohm & Associates should be your first stop. Offering a broad range of services, MBOA serves business owners, executives, and independent professionals alike. Their service encompasses nearly every aspect of professional life, and their business's reputation reflects the high standards they demand of themselves. Miller Brown Ohm & Associates Certified Public Accountants, 335 Main Street, McSherrystown, 717-637-1500. All right, we are back at Governor Mifflin High School. And before we go on with anything else, something very, very historic happened today. If you haven't been near a television, uh, Viva La Papa. Uh, we have a pope, okay? Long live the pope. It was uh, Cardinal Jorge Maria Ber Bergio Ber uh, Bergoglio, excuse me, Bergoglio. And he took the name of uh, Pope Francis I. He is a 76-year-old Jesuit cardinal. He is from Buenos, Buenos Aires, Argentina. And he just happens to be the first pope of the Americas. He's from South America. And uh, we welcome him. It's a wonderful, wonderful day for, for the Catholic Church uh, to have, their, have a new leader. Uh, we've been waiting for this, obviously, since February 28th. 28th and they didn't, spend, they didn't waste any time uh, getting it done. One day of conclave, and, and we have a pope. So we congratulate uh, the Pope, and we pray for him uh, and for his success and his pontificate. All right, so we are back here now and talking about uh, keys to the game. DeLone Catholic has to keep the tempo up in this game. Okay, they have to, I should say, have to keep it under control. It's going to be a fast tempo. There's no doubt about it. They have to limit unforced turnovers. The Constitution is going to get turnovers based solely on the speed and the, and the, and the style of play that they, that they run, uh, but DeLone cannot give them extra possessions. They have to be. Uh, they have. They must have good scoring nights from players other than Brett Smith. Uh, although Brett Smith has got to play well as well. That's an. That's that's an obvious point. Jake Wiles will also need to pick his spots 
Uh, but when he has the open look, he got, he's got to take it. He can't hesitate. The generals are going to be much quicker uh, than the uh, than what the squires have faced. Uh, you know, unlike Wellsboro, Constitution is going to be able to get across, recover, and get across the court for those cross court passes and defend that three point shot. So they're going to have to be ready and get that look and take the shot. For Constitution, they're going to need a balanced scoring attack. Delone Catholic's defense has proven it's capable of shutting them down, shutting down a team like this. Uh, multiple threats this season. And uh, it's important that the generals have the ability to call on others should Smith and company be successful in suppressing Kimar Williams and Floyd Preto. So definitely a going to be a uh, what I expect to be a fast-paced, uh, very fast free-for-all kind of game here tonight, and that's one thing that DeLone does not want to get into the into a back-and-forth with Constitution. They want to play their own style of basketball, go on for the trap, get the steals, but most importantly, they cannot give up easy buckets. They cannot give up turnovers. Uh, this is uh, My guess is it's going to be a really close back-and-forth game as long as the Squires can continue to play the defense they've shown against Trinity and Wellsboro. This is going to be a battle. So we're going to take our last break here before we come uh, before the uh, – starting lineups we will be right back stay with us Bay City Restaurant in Hanover is celebrating 50 years in business. Come out and celebrate with us and have fun, plus enjoy great food. Our quality food truly sets us apart with sizzling hand-cut steaks, fresh seafood selections, delicious pasta, and so much more. Plus, with 20 dinner entrees under $15, it's an affordable night out. Don't miss the excitement at Bay City Restaurant as we celebrate 50 years. Bay City Restaurant, it's more than a restaurant, it's a night out. Do you want to find a men's store that makes your shopping experience easy? At Hanover Clothing Company, we have it all. From traditional to trendy, you'll find the perfect men's apparel. Our friendly staff will find exactly what you need. For over 82 years, we've had affordable prices on all of our clothing, including pants, suits, ties, and more. We also have big and tall sizes in every department and made-to-measure suits. Come in today to Hanover Clothing or visit us on the web at www.hanoverclothing.com. Hanover Clothing Company, 42 Carlisle Street, Hanover. If you're looking for a blend of personal service and expertise, Miller Brown Ohm & Associates should be your first stop. Offering a broad range of services, MBOA serves business owners, executives, and independent professionals alike. Their service encompasses nearly every aspect of professional life, and their business's reputation reflects the high standards they demand of themselves. Miller Brown Ohm & Associates Certified Public Accountants, 335 Main Street, McSherrystown, 717-637-1500. All right, welcome back to Governor Mifflin High School, or excuse me, Intermediate School. We've got Celebrity Watch here. There's Sierra Morse in from uh, Duke to watch her brother play tonight. So we welcome her back home. Glad to see she's safe and sound. Hey, we want to take a moment right now here to congratulate the DeLone Catholic girls basketball team on a tremendous season. You know, those who joined us last night uh, in Coatesville, they saw the season come to a, a disappointing end for the Squirettes as they fell to St. Basil 47-40. But I think everybody... Uh, every one of the girls will tell you that uh, they played that game. It was just a team, uh, you know, from the start. Uh, six for 15 from the line, folks. That should say it all right there. Uh, you know, the takeaway, uh, you take away Allie's, uh, Allie Shipley's four of four from the line, perfect from the line, uh, and that percentage drops to a, a paltry 18%. Uh, the stats from missed layups, second and third shots were just dismal. It just was not a good, great game for the girls. But you don't want to take away anything from the success of these girls uh, this year. They did a tremendous job. We are going to miss these seniors. They are a very quali good, good group of girls, and uh, we enjoyed watching them and following them out throughout this season. All right, we are, gonna, we are about 46 seconds here from the starting lineups. And... Uh, we'll wait in here and wait for our PA announcer... Another celebrity down there, Mr. Dave Casino. He is now director of officials for the PIAA. little personal note, Dave refereed the very first game I ever played as a fifth grader back at Annunciation uh, Grade School in McSherrystown. I think he fouled me out. So, <laughs> All right, here's the starting lineups for the Generals. Number one, Kimar Williams. He is a 6'10 uh, senior guard. Number 10 is Akeem King, he's a 5'10 sophomore guard. Number 11 is Floyd Preto. He's a 6'0 junior guard. 
Number 24 is Ahmed uh, Gilbert, a 6'6 sophomore small forward. And finally, number 34, Raheem Liggins, a 6'5 junior power forward. He's a big body inside. The Lone Catholic will have their five familiar starters as we have for most of this season. Number three is our quarterback. He is the field general for the Squires, and it's Brett Smith, number three. Number five, we mentioned his sister earlier, is, is Devin Moore. Number 11, Jake Wiles. Big games for Jake the last two, uh, two outings. Number 15 is Andrew Austin. He'll play that power forward kind of position. And number 32, we don't really have a center, but that's the gentleman there, Tanner Orndorff. And we are going to start play right away. This is the second game. This is the first for uh, DCBN to have the second game of, uh, of a night. So we don't have a, a, a national anthem. We're going to get right into basketball. We'll have a trivia question for you at halftime. So stay tuned if you'd like to win tickets to Regal Theaters, two movie tickets to Regal Theaters tonight. And we got three officials for tonight's game as we have for most of the PIAA. I'm sorry, for all of PIAA, but most of the district as well. DeLone Catholic is a little considerably undersized here against the Generals. Liggins and number 24, uh, Gilbert, uh, tower pretty much about a, well, I wouldn't say a head taller than Andrew. Andrew's, Andrew's probably right close to him. But... Uh, We'll see. Squire's going to, like I said before, Squire's going to have to keep this tempo under control in their favor. Tip off is going to be jumped again. Okay, they say that the Generals took possession, so the Squires will have the ball out of bounds. It's in bounds to Brett Smith. Gets it to Devin Moore. Devin's got first two points of the game. Nice pass there from uh, Brett Smith. Devin corralled that in, got it in quickly. Kimar Williams will bring it up, play the point guard for the Generals. King has it on the wing. Now back to uh, Williams. Williams down the corner. Way over top there to number 10. King takes the three, and it's going to be nowhere close. Rebound by Devin Moore. Outs to Brett Smith. Down to Tanner. Down to Tanner, Tanner gives it in to, to uh, Austin. Austin takes it up. Missed, but Tanner's in there fighting for it. It's on the floor, rebounded by Williams. 24, Hakeem Gilbert misses everything, and it's a fight for the rebound. Jump ball. That'll stay with the Generals. Hakeem King gets in there after that ball. Good follow on the shot. Preto inbounds the ball for the General. King has it, gives it back to him. And playing back and forth ball there. Looks like he's going to take the shot. Preto has it, gives it to Kate King. Now it's over there to Williams. Williams hands it off. Gilbert now down to the corner. And that shot's off. Rebound by Gilbert. Gilbert takes it up and rolls around and goes down. Ahmad Gilbert, his two, first two points of the game. Man to man now all over the court to start the game. It's a man to man for the Generals. Tanner Orndorff gives it up. Andrew Austin. Now to Moore. Moore drives. And we're going to have a jump ball, and that's going to remain with the Squires. Ball's out of bounds. Knocked out by the Generals. Brett Smith will inbounds. Good defense by the Generals in that inbounds. They go way out to Tanner Rohrendorf. Smith's got it. He drives the lane. Pulls up. Scores. Two points now for Brett Smith. Two for Devin Moore. Four to two. Put the scoreboard up, Dan. How about that? What do you think, huh? Where was Jad at with that one, huh? <laughs> I got nothing to do. I got nothing to do. All right, that's Williams with the ball. And then we can flip it over to number 11. Preto for three. Oh. 
Jake Wiles kicks it out to Austin. Austin back to Smith. He takes the three from way outside. Nice shot by Brett Smith. Gilbert gets it into number 34, Liggins. Liggins back to Gilbert. Kimara Williams for three, and that's going to bounce up and rebounded by Jake Wiles. Out to Tanner Orndorff. Squires come in transition. Moore with it in the corner. Squires in a spread offense. Moore drives, 34, blocks it, lock, Liggins. Liggins blocks it right out of his hands. Preto misses the first one, gets his rebound, and puts it right back in. Gets it into Tanner Orndorff. They broke that press pretty quickly. Andrew Austin blocks by Liggins. Tie score here, 4.54 to go in the first quarter. Both teams seem like they're feeling each other out here now. Getting a feel for what kind of offense they're going to go through. Way out to Tanner Orndorff. Jake Wiles gets it into Austin. Austin back to Brett. Brett's driving the lane. And a foul called, and it's a blocking foul. He'll shoot two. Foul is on number 10, Akeem King. His first, the team's first. That was short. And Brett misses the second of two. So zero for zero from the line for Brett Smith. Williams with the ball. Gets it into Loggins. Loggins back to back to Williams. Preto. Down to King. King now back to Preto. Gilbert, excuse me. Williams with the ball. Squires doing a nice job keeping it out. There goes Williams. Oh, Preto, excuse me. He misses the ball. Squires five on four. They got numbers. Jake Wiles for three. That's short of everything. Rebounded by Loggins. He gets it out. It's Preto bouncing back and forth, back and forth. Brett Smith single-handedly stopped that shot from going up. And you see Brett trying to encourage his, his teammates there, the leader that he is. I know in talking to a lot of these guys, they're not ready for this season to end, so they're gonna, you're going to give it everything they've got. And Preto puts his first foul shot in. Six points now for Floyd Preto. And the second of two. He's got seven of the nine so far. Kind of come to the ball, Jake. Sorry, I didn't mean to coach out loud. That's something the Squires have got to do. They do much. They, they've done it better all through as the season went on. But there goes Tanner. Tanner Orndorff bounces it up off the backside and goes in. Tanner has his first two points of the game. Tied up 9-9. Squires now go into their 1-3-1. This is where the trapping comes, comes into play. King gets it out. It's Williams to King again. To 24, Gilbert. He scores. Gilbert has four now. And... That ball's out of bounds off of Akeem King. Squires will keep the ball. And the referees are going to talk about where the placement of the ball goes out. Tanner gets the inbounds pass from Smith, and Smith will bring it up. And a holding foul. The foul was on Akeem King, his second, the team's second. Squires with the ball now under their own basket. Smith comes out and gets it, gives it to Jake Wiles. Devin Moore for three. Banks it in. 
five for Devin here early in the game. Squires with a one point lead, 249 and goal and counting. Here comes the trap. Nicely done, got to get it out by King. In and out, in and out. There's a drop down inside to Liggins. Liggins put it in. Man to man all over the court. They're picking them up wherever they get them. Brett Smith tries to break free of his man. Devin Moore has it on the floor, and it's stolen. And up to number one, Williams. He puts it in. That's his first two points of the game. 15 to 12, three point difference now. Wiles with the ball on the wing. Looks for Devin Moore. Gets it in. And there's going to be a turnover. It's a traveling call. Generals will take over. And Devin Altland's checking into the game. As is number 12, Hanin, Hanif Vaughn. Has a shot for three points. It's off the rim. Liggins had a chance at it, but tips it away. Squires kind of gave up on it. King takes the shot. That's off the rim. And rebounded by Credo. Down to a minute 30 to go. First period, three-point lead for the Generals. Credo gets it back. He looks to drive. Kicks it to Leggins. Liggins puts it in. Four points for Raheem Liggins. It's a five-point game now under a minute to go in the first quarter. Jake Wiles with the ball on the right wing. Gets it to Devin Moore. Devin looks to drive. It's tipped away. He nicely gets it back. And drives and puts it in. And we're going to have a foul call. And that foul is going to be on number 10, Akeem King. If it is, it's his third. It is on number 10. Akeem King has picked up his third foul here in the first quarter. So he'll sit down. Number 12, Vaughn comes in to replace him. And Devin Moore will go to the line and shoot one to finish the possible three-point play. And that ball rattles in and out. Rebounded by Gilbert. Uh, Prito will bring the ball up. Squires now in a matchup. Coach yelling from the sideline, see the ball, and that's exactly right. Should have been a steal there by the Squires. 20 seconds left. Playing for one shot. Prito with the ball. Gives it to Gilbert. Gilbert pulls it out. Now down to 10. Tanner Orndorff playing defense on him. Williams with the ball. He takes Smith. And we're going to have a blocking foul on Brett Smith. That'll be Brett's first foul. That's the team's first. Check that. That's the team's second. In comes Devin Altland. He'll take uh, Smith's place. It's his second. That's why I missed the first one. Ball. See, you got to see the ball, Tanner. And there's the shot, and it's off. At the end of the first quarter, Constitution Generals have a three-point lead over the Squires, 17-14. to 14. We'll take a short break. We'll be right back on DCBN. Do you want to find a men's store that makes your shopping experience easy? At Hanover Clothing Company, we have it all. From traditional to trendy, you'll find the perfect men's apparel. Our friendly staff will find exactly what you need. For over 82 years, we've had affordable prices on all of our clothing, including pants, suits, ties, and more. We also have big and tall sizes in every department and made-to-measure suits. Come in today to Hanover Clothing or visit us on the web at www.hanoverclothing.com. Hanover Clothing Company, 42 Carlisle Street, Hanover. All right, back at Governor Mifflin High School. Excuse me, Governor Mifflin Intermediate School. Uh, we're going down a class here. You can't, you can't go down further than that, can you? That's middle school, fifth and sixth grade, right? 
All right, so we're back. And it's the beginning of the second period. The lone Catholic has Brett Smith with five points. Devin Moore leads the Squires with seven. Tanner Orndorff with two. Kimar Williams with two. Uh, Floyd Preto with seven leading their team. Uh, and Gilbert has four. And Liggins has four. Big, it's a big story right now. The Akeem King with three fouls. Brett Smith with two. Generals have the ball to start the second period. Again, we want to welcome everyone uh, from Constitution High School listening on DCBN tonight as well. Nice into Liggins. Liggins, mo. We're going to have a foul call, but Liggins lost control of the ball going up. It's going to be on number 15, Andrew Austin. It's Andrew's first foul. It'll be the team's third. And Ra Raheem puts that first one in. It's his fifth point of the game so far. And that's off the front of the rim. Tipped away by number 12, Vaughn. And nice play there by Williams to go around the basket and put it in. We got a timeout on the floor. And Jalone Catholic's going to take a timeout. It is a 30-second timeout. Again, we want to thank Hanover Clothing Company, Miller Brown and Associates, as well as Bay City. We also want to thank Parcel Plus in the North, excuse me, in the, uh, what is that? Clearview Shopping Center, am I wrong? Am I right? Value City Shopping Center, that's the one. Value City Shopping Center. Eric Benner has uh, been a, a, good, a great supporter of the, long, of the DCBN this year, so we thank him for his support as well. As uh, all of our other sponsors, which we'll talk about throughout the, the, e the evening. Tanner Ordorf has the ball, and that's going to be a quick foul on number 11. Preto will be his first. It's the fourth team foul for the Constitution Generals. Tanner Ordorf has it in the middle, gives it to Devin Moore. Devin turns, sweeps and brings it up. He's guarded by number 24, Gilbert. And 12, Vaughn comes up on Smith, but he's going to draw the foul. Smith does a good job of keeping his body in, in check. Now, uh, in and out goes uh, Billy Kilkelly. I didn't even see him go in. So, Anif Vaughn has his first foul. Smith cuts, gives it, they give it out to Jake Wiles. Jake's got it. He's guarded by Williams. He pulls up over top of him and scores. Jake Wiles with his first two points of the game. Williams pulls up from the foul line. That's off. Rebound. Vaughn. Vaughn's got it. He's guarded by Jake Wiles. Bounce pass underneath is missed. Rebound. Stolen away by Jake Wiles. Tanner Orndorff brings it up for the Squires. He's not picked up, kicks it out. That's Andrew Austin over to Devin Moore who pulls up for the three. Off the rim, rebound strongly in there by Ahmad Gilbert. He gets it up fast. And a blocking foul. Nice transition there by the Generals. Floyd Preto will go to the line, he'll shoot. Call was on Devin Moore, number five. It's his first foul, the team's fifth. So a two-shot foul. First one goes down. Preto now with eight points so far. Make that, nope, in and out. Rebound, Tanner Orndorff. Sneaky Vaughn up there real quick trying to tap the ball away. 21-16 is your score. Delone definitely wants to keep this uh, within five or six points. Backdoor cut there. Missed. Austin. Bounce pass to Tanner Orndorff. Tanner, I can't believe he even got through that. <laughs> Slippery rack right around the corner there. Going to have a foul on number 24. Gilbert has his first foul of the game. Checking in the game for the Generals is Chad Andrews, number five. And he'll replace Liggins, 
number 34. Devin Moore gets it from the, at the top of the key in the backcourt. Gives it to Jake Wiles. Jake gives it to Smith. Smith looks like to drive. He does around the big body there in the middle. And it's a miss. Rebound. It's outlet real quick. Up the court it goes. Number 11 is going to take the shot. Preto for three. A miss. And there's going to be another quick foul on number 12, Vaughn. That's going to be his second foul real quick. So we've got now King, number 10, with three. Preto with one. Vaughn with two. And Gilbert with one. So that's the seventh foul. Squires will go now for the rest of the quarter at one and one. Number three, Lincoln Kapuyu comes in for the Generals. Kapuyu is a 5'9 junior guard. And Tanner Orndorf puts that first one in. Tanner's third point of the game. One field goal, one foul shot. That one's off. Tanner Orndorf does a nice, or excuse me, Austin does a nice job tipping it out. Jake Wells sets himself, and a little long on that one. Rebounded by number five, Andrews. He gets it out. Preto with it in the left side. Gives it up to Williams. <laughs> Andrews looking for a foul underneath the basket. There's a lot of fouling going on. No calls being made. And that was Williams putting two points down. 23-17. Pull you on Smith now. It's Jake Wiles. Spin move. Jake takes it up strong, and we're going to have a foul. See who they call that on. It is on number one, Kimar Williams. That's his first. Be one and one for Jake Wiles. Can't say the Squires has played poorly to this point, but they have been a step behind the Generals in a lot of cases underneath the basket. Jake puts the first one in. Gives him three points for the game. All of it coming in the second quarter now. Another one added in there. The 23 to 19 is your score. Sorry, I know you can see that in the corner now, but he's kind of getting in the habit of doing it. A little push off there by Williams. No call. Number 24, Gilbert shoots. Knee scores. That's a two. Six points for Ahmed Gilbert. 25-19. Brett, nice pass to Andrew Austin. Andrew took a couple steps, but they didn't call it. Nice shot there, though. Puts it down. It's Andrew's first two points of the game. Nice pass inside to number five, Andrews. And there's going to be a foul on the floor. Two guys hitting the floor, Jake Wiles. Jake Wiles and Andrews took a spill there together. Foul is going to be on Jake Wiles, his first. It's team's fifth foul for DeLone. And Andrews puts the first one down. His first point of the game. That shot rattled around or, or rolled around the wrong way there. That spin was a little off. Rebounded by Andrew Alston. Tanner Orndorff brings it up in transition. Get it over to Jake Wiles here in the left wing. Down goes number three, Capayu. Moore pulls up from the elbow. Misses, but Jake Wiles is there, and he misses. That's what we talked about in pregame. They got to make those little ones. Look like a little bit of a step there on number 11, Preto, but shot from way outside, and that's going to bounce around and go out of bounds. So the Squires, or excuse me, the Squires down by five. Chance now to get that lead below five. It's been a while since early on. 
Orndorff gets it up quickly to Smith. And Andrew Austin for two. Nice transition offense there for the Squires. Three point game. Kick it out, that's number three, Capayu. He gives it back to Floyd Predo. And he'll pull it out, give it to Williams. Williams pushes off. He'll pull up from about 15, misses everything. Rebound, Tanner Orndorff. Tanner brings it up. Kicks it out to Wiles, and it's stripped away for a second. Tanner Orndorff powers it up to the basket. And number five wants to question the call, Chad Andrews, but uh, no given there with the referee. So that's Chad's first foul of the game. Shooting two shots. Tanner misses the first one. Checking back in the game is Raheem Liggins. And number 12, Vaughn. They'll check in for Williams and Andrews. It's five players have played 95% of the first two quarters of the game. Second one goes in. Tanner now with four points for the game. Under three minutes to play in the first half. We got a two-point possession, two-point difference. Credo with the ball, gives it over to Vaughn. Vaughn passes it in to number 24, Gilbert, for two. Eight points now for Ahmad Gilbert. Squires come up quickly in transition, down four. Austin takes a shot, and that's off the rim, rebounded by Floyd Predo. He comes in transition. And that ball is, hits the backboard. Jake Wiles gobbles it up, gives it up to Smith. Bullet dodge there for the Squires. Devin Moore for three. That's off. And we're going to have a holding call on Tanner Orndorff. It's Tanner's first foul of the game. Kimar Williams will re-enter re -enter the game. And Kapayu will take a rest. Williams with the ball now. They give it right back to him. A lot of quick back and forth passing there by the Generals. And that looked like a walk, no call. Shots up. Liggins over the back. Kicks it out. Williams takes the shot. He misses. Rebounded by Vaughn. Ball's on the floor. Nice job there by Moore to take control of the basketball. He puts it down. Seven points for De Devin Moore. Squires are now down to a three-point deficit with a minute 22 to go and counting second period. Gilbert takes the shot and foul. He is fouled. He'll shoot two. Andrew Austin picks up his second foul. Lincoln Kapuyu uh, will enter the game. He's getting ready to check in. Gilbert puts the first one down. Second one goes just the same way. Ten points now for Ahmad Gilbert. Scores up to four points lead for the Generals. Orndorf gives it back to Jake Wiles. Finds Smith in the middle. He'll bring it up. And Andrew Austin takes the three, rebounded by Tanner Orndorff, and he's practically mugged. Nice transition basket there by Predo, though. 
Smith tries to dump it off to Tanner Orndorf. It's going to go out of bounds off the Squires. 41 seconds to go here in the first half. 32-26. Trying to get the ball into Liggins. Williams back and forth with Prito, and they're going to pull it out and look for the last shot. Timeout, Generals. Constitution will take a full timeout, so we will take a break right with them. Stay with us here the last 14 seconds of the half. Do you want to find a men's store that makes your shopping experience easy? At Hanover Clothing Company, we have it all. From traditional to trendy, you'll find the perfect men's apparel. Our friendly staff will find exactly what you need. For over 82 years, we've had affordable prices on all of our clothing, including pants, suits, ties, and more. We also have big and tall sizes in every department and made to measure suits. Come in today to Hanover Clothing or visit us on the web at www.hanoverclothing.com. Hanover Clothing Company, 42 Carlisle Street, Hanover. All right, back at Governor Mifflin, DeLone Catholic 26, the Constitution Generals 32. It's a six-point game. Again, the winner of this game takes on the winner of Holy Cross. Holy Cross and Delaware Valley Charter. That game's going on now at a different site. The loser, of course, goes home for the season. Williams guarded by Smith. Eight seconds, seven seconds. They give the ball up to Pete Prito. Prito looks to drive, kicks it back to Williams. And that's going to be nowhere close. Rebounded by Devin Moore, and that's the half. At halftime, Constitution 32, DeLone Catholic 26. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Bay City Restaurant in Hanover is celebrating 50 years in business. Come out and celebrate with us and have fun, plus enjoy great food. Our quality food truly sets us apart with sizzling hand-cut steaks, fresh seafood selections, delicious pasta, and so much more. Plus, with 20 dinner entrees under $15, it's an affordable night out. Don't miss the excitement at Bay City Restaurant as we celebrate 50 years. Bay City Restaurant, it's more than a restaurant. It's a night out. If you're looking for a blend of personal service and expertise, Miller Brown Ohm & Associates should be your first stop. Offering a broad range of services, MBOA serves business owners, executives, and independent professionals alike. Their service encompasses nearly every aspect of professional life, and their business's reputation reflects the high standards they demand of themselves. Miller Brown Ohm & Associates Certified Public Accountants, 335 Main Street, McSherrystown, 717-637-1500. Do you want to find a men's store that makes your shopping experience easy? At Hanover Clothing Company, we have it all. From traditional to trendy, you'll find the perfect men's apparel. Our friendly staff will find exactly what you need. For over 82 years, we've had affordable prices on all of our clothing, including pants, suits, ties, and more. We also have big and tall sizes in every department and made to measure suits. Come in today to Hanover Clothing or visit us on the web at www.hanoverclothing.com. Hanover Clothing Company, 42 Carlisle Street, Hanover. All right, it's halftime at Governor Mifflin Intermediate School. Constitution with a six-point lead over the Squires of DeLone Catholic, 32-26. What you see on your screen is our trivia question for tonight. The uh, trivia question tonight is, what year was Lawrence B. Sonny Shepherd Memorial Gym built? If you can tell me that, please text me your first name. The first person with the right answer with their name, location, and the correct answer will win two free tickets to the movies at Regal Theaters in Westminster, courtesy of Regal Theaters. So, again, that number, 717-350-9385. You wouldn't believe the number of emails that I got when we missed two games in a row without a trivia question. I got more emails and Facebook uh, page uh, uh, hits than, uh, than I, I care to admit. Um, but, that uh, again, that year, what year was Sonny B. Shepherd Memorial Gymnasium built? Uh, you, and then, no looking this up on the Internet, by the way, folks. You know, I hate these people that go and they go, I'd like a lifeline. I want to call a friend. Hey, you got a computer nearby? Just kidding. 
Uh, the first person to text the name, look your their name, location, and the correct answer will win two t- free tickets to Regal Theaters. While we're waiting for that to occur, it is halftime. <laughs> Folks, I will tell you that if you try to call me, that's not happening. You have to text me. <laughs> you cannot call me. All right, we want to remind you of the things that are going on around in and around Delone Catholic High School. The Delone Catholic Board of Directors invites their students, parents, alumni, and friends, all the stakeholders, to share their opinions as they perform their regular review of the strategic planning of Delone Catholic High School. They ask you to take just some time, fill out a questionnaire, and share your opinions. You can do that at www.delonecatholic.org. Join the faculty, fen- f- the faculty friends, and family Relay for Life team. I don't know why that's hard for me to say. For another year of celebrating those who have survived cancer, uh, remembering those who have not, and fighting back against the disease that affects so many. Plan to attend. Mm, Got our first answer. Is this an incorrect answer? (laughs) Sorry about that. Uh, Remember those who have not, and fight back against the disease that affects so many. Plan to attend the Cash Bingo at the Lone Catholic High School in the cafeteria Sunday, April the 7th. Doors open at 12 p.m. Bingo starts at 2. There's going to be speed bingo. There's going to be door prizes. Put that on your calendar and don't miss that. The Lone Catholic Spring Musical is coming up this weekend. It is coming to the old gym stage this Friday. Uh, Again, a wrong answer. Okay, let me finish this. We do have a correct answer for that. Uh, again, that uh, curtain for Friday and Saturday goes up at 7 p.m. for Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella. For, uh, Sunday, the curtain call is 2 p.m. Tickets are $5 for adults, $3 for students, and the students at DeLone Catholic currently that have their official ID from the school will be admitted for free. Again, we want to thank everybody who came out to support the uh, Hanover Relay for Life's team event it's at Chili's the past two nights. I was there. Oh, what a wonderful meal that was, by the way. Uh, <laughs> sources at Chili's tell me that it was one of the hugest turnouts that they've had, most likely one of the top two that they've ever seen at Chili's. So congratulations to the Relay for Life team for putting together that great fundraiser. It was a good time. We'd like to see a lot of, of good friends uh, that we hadn't seen in a while. Uh, more importantly, to the Hanover area, congratulations to you for, for adding your support to the fight against cancer. Last and certainly not least, though, we do want to bring your attention to another effort that's, that's currently underway in the area. The Gifts from the Heart for Downs is an organization which raises funds to assist in granting wishes for children with Down syndrome. Uh, Tammy Brill is a member of the DeLone Catholic Class of 1987, and her daughter Kaylee, who happens to have Down syndrome, are collecting shoes uh, of any size, shape, or condition in an effort to not only raise money but also awareness for the cause of Down syndrome. Town M Video in McSherry's Town is also is, is attempting to help Tammy and Kaylee with their efforts, and we invite you to bring your shoes to Town M to help spread some joy to the hearts of these wonderful children. Town M Video is located at 355 Ridge Avenue in McSherry's Town. You can also donate, donate shoes directly to Tammy at 315 Oxford Road in New Oxford. If you have any questions, you can contact Town M at 717 632 8274 or Tammy at 717-521-9656. The question for the uh, trivia tonight was, what year was Lawrence B. Sunny Shepherd Memorial Gym built? We had a number of wrong answers. Uh, my apologies to uh, Joey Little, to uh, Jack Neitz, and to Toby Myers, but you're incorrect. It was not 1969 or 68. It was not 1964. The correct answer Came from Cork Lavelsberger in Hanover. He correctly answered that year was 1969. That was the correct answer. So congratulations to Cork Lavelsberger. We'll get you those two tickets out in the mail. Uh, if you do, please, if you would, please email me your, uh, or excuse me, text me your uh, correct, cor- correct address uh, or how we would, you know, how we get those to you. So thank you for everybody uh, for participating in our trivia this year. That It's been fun to do. Um, you know, hopefully we'll have another game yet to do uh, more of that. Uh, right now, the Squires on the short end of the uh, of a 32 to 26 uh, deficit, but uh, you know, they're in the game. They're playing hard, and this is one thing we talked about in pregame. They can't throw the ball away. They got to control the tempo of the game, and that is one, those two things have been successful. They've had a number of uh, maybe two or three uh, unforced turnovers here in the first half, but all things considered. It's been a good game, a good, sun, solid, fundamental game for DeLone Catholic. We're going to go ahead and take our last break here before we come back with the second half. We'll be right back. Stay with us. 
Do you want to find a men's store that makes your shopping experience easy? At Hanover Clothing Company, we have it all. From traditional to trendy, you'll find the perfect men's apparel. Our friendly staff will find exactly what you need. For over 82 years, we've had affordable prices on all of our clothing, including pants, suits, ties, and more. We also have big and tall sizes in every department and made to measure suits. Come in today to Hanover Clothing or visit us on the web at www.hanoverclothing.com. Hanover Clothing Company, 42 Carlisle Street, Hanover. If you're looking for a blend of personal service and expertise, Miller Brown Ohm & Associates should be your first stop. Offering a broad range of services, MBOA serves business owners, executives, and independent professionals alike. Their service encompasses nearly every aspect of professional life, and their business's reputation reflects the high standards they demand of themselves. Miller Brown Ohm & Associates Certified Public Accountants, 335 Main Street, McSherrystown, 717-637-1500. The name Town M Video and Computer should tell you everything you need to know about the Adams Hanover Zone one-stop shop for everything video and computer. The area's only video to DVD provider, Town M on Ridge Avenue in McSherrystown, also provides computer repair, printer and VCR repair, and event videography services throughout Central Pennsylvania and Northern Maryland. With so many computer technicians out there, it's hard to find one you can trust, and even more difficult to find one who doesn't charge an arm and a leg. Dan Colgan and his staff at Town M are products of the local area and graduates of DeLone Catholic High School. They pride themselves on giving honest and free quotes on computer repair and stand behind their work 100% while keeping their rates affordable for area families. So if you need a website for your business, programming help, or have old family films and tapes that you need to get safely to video, contact Town M Video and Computer today. Town M Video and Computer, 355 Ridge Avenue in McSherrystown. 717-632-8274. All right, we are back at uh, Governor Mifflin Intermediate School. It is a 32-26 halftime score. Again, we want to congratulate Cork Lavelsberger for his correct answer on our trivia question, which was when was uh, Sonny B. Shepherd Memorial Gymnasium built? That was 1969, the year I was born. How's that make you feel? <laughs> And the year that Jad and his wife, his lovely wife, were married. So it's a big big year for lots of us here at DCBN. <laughs> All right, the ball is inbound, and Squires have first possession in the second half. Brett Smith has it, gives it to Devin Moore. Devin pulls it right out. Looked for a second like he wanted to take a shot from the middle, but smartly pulls it out. Rebound taken out by Jake Wiles. Nice shot there. Devin Moore for three to start the second half. All right, folks, I'm getting information here. We'll talk about it here at the first time out uh, that the uh, correct answer for the trivia question. Now, I cannot take responsibility for this. The head honcho uh, himself gave me the information. So, But we will talk about that here. No, Brett Smith off balance and should have rightfully have fell and fallen down. Puts it up and in. 34-31 now. And I'm not passing the buck either. I have a text message to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Kimar Williams with the ball out front now down to three Squires haven't gotten it lower than three and that shot is off shot by Pritos rebounded by Jake Wiles gives it up to Smith and now down to Tanner Orndorff back to Wiles he drives oh nice pickpocket there by number 24 Gilbert and looked like he might have taken steps on that one and we're gonna have a foul on Devin Moore And it is. That's his second foul. First foul of the second half. King back to Preto. Gets it into Liggins. He's going to have a foul call on Andrew Austin. That's going to be Andrew's third foul. So we'll see what Coach Dooley does about this situation. 
going to call a timeout and get things under control. It's a 30 second timeout. So we'll give you some uh, recap of where we are right now. Uh, we are just about two minutes into the second half. Devin Moore has nine points for DeLone Catholic. I'm sorry, take that back. Brett Smith has nine. Devin Moore has ten for DeLone Catholic. Uh, Jake Wiles with four. Austin with four. Tanner Orndorff with four. For the Generals, Kimar Williams with six. Akeem King has one point from the foul line. Preto is the leading scorer. He's got ten. And Gilbert, ten. So that ties that. And Rakeem Liggins with uh, five. Foul-wise, we'll go through that here in a second. Andrew Austin with three, the only one in real big foul trouble for DeLone. Akeem King with the same situation. Gilbert's shot is off, but tipped in. I couldn't tell who got that. Was that number one? <laughs> that was Kamar Williams. He jumped up there and got it in. A holding foul, and I think that's going to be on Preto. It is number 11. That'll be his second foul. So, again, getting back to that, uh, Akeem King has three fouls. Preto now with two. Vaughn with two. And then Williams and Gilbert with one apiece. Smith has the ball, gives it to Moore. He looked it for a second. Andrew Austin has it. He took a look. Five-point game again. Smith has flash, was open for a second there. Tried to dump it off to uh, Austin. He does and gets it up and in. Andrew Austin fought for that one. Six points for Andrew tonight. Down to three again. Delone needs a stop here. They need to get uh, a jolt, get that score under three points. Back and forth from Williams to Preto. They give it down the corner. Whoa, nice shot there by King. He hits the three. It's his first three points of the game, too. Now it's up to six again. Orndorff smartly taps it away, gives it to Moore. He drives, and a little bit short on that pass there by Moore. Couldn't get it quite, get it to Andrew Austin. Generals come in transition, and that's going to go in and score. Number 10, Akeem King puts it up on the backboard. And he's fouled by Andrew, excuse me, by Tanner Orndorf, I believe. Let's look at that again. No, it's on Brett's, Brett Smith. That's his third. So now Brett Smith with three fouls here early in the third, well, halfway through the third quarter. And that's off. And a lane violation. So the Squires will get a break there. Shot didn't count, second one taken away. Andrew Austin, he scores. Nice fluid shot there by Andrew. Drew picks up his eighth point of the game. Four in the first, set four and a half, four in the second right now. Oh, in and out, comes back down and in again for uh, Preto, Floyd Preto. Twelve points for him. Squires cutting and... Knocked down, but Tanner Orndorff, oh, can't get it quite up high enough on the board. And I think that's time for Coach Julie to get a timeout here. It's 45-35. It's getting a little bit away from him now. And there it is. There's the timeout. It is a 10-point lead for the Generals, 45-35. Full timeout. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.
Bay City Restaurant in Hanover is celebrating 50 years in business. Come out and celebrate with us and have fun, plus enjoy great food. Our quality food truly sets us apart with sizzling hand-cut steaks, fresh seafood selections, delicious pasta, and so much more. Plus, with 20 dinner entrees under $15, it's an affordable night out. Don't miss the excitement at Bay City Restaurant as we celebrate 50 years. Bay City Restaurant, it's more than a restaurant, it's a night out. All right, back at the PIAA, Class AA, second round match between the Constitution Generals and Delone Catholic. Welcome to Governor Mifflin High School, or excuse me, I did it again, Jed. It's the Intermediate School. Why I keep doing that is I guess I feel like we should be playing at a high school. <laughs> again, I want to make a public a thank you to Jed Sneeringer for helping, me, helping us all out here at DCBN. He's been here, uh, what, four out of the last five games at least, so we appreciate his efforts in all of that. A little bit of a drive for him as well as the rest of us here at DCBN. Tanner Orndorff has the ball. Kicks it over to Andrew Austin. Little looked inside. Got it to Smith. That ball rattles around. Rebound. Rebounded by Moore. And it looked as if uh, he might have been fouled, but it was knocked out of bounds by number 24, Gilbert. Squires set up their play. Orndorf gets it in to Moore. Moore kicks it over to Jake Wiles. Jake, nice slide move there and gets it in. Inside to Liggins. <laughs> Orndorf doing the best he can. Raheem, Raheem's just a little bit bigger than he is. He took it right over top of him. 47-37, 10 point game now. Coming to 225 to go in the third period. Moore kicks it out to Austin. Double teams coming. Gets it around, over to Tanner Orndorff. Tanner drives, whoa, and he hits the ground hard. We got a foul call underneath. That's gonna be on Raheem Liggins. That's his first. Now the Squires have uh, two people with three, uh, Excuse me, the uh, uh, Generals have two people with two fouls, one with three, two of which were starting in the game. It's 10 to 5 now for the game. Been fighting a tough battle inside with uh, Raheem Liggins, but he puts that one in as well, gives him six. Eight point game. And this is what we talked about. They're going to try to sit out here and play with the ball. Force the Squires to come out of this zone that they're in. 2-3 zone. <laughs> coach Dooley actually yelling to his players, take a little rest. That's not a bad idea, Coach. Not a bad idea at all. Clock is running, down to 120 to go third period. Here come the Squires with the trap, and that ball is nicely handled there by number 10, Keem King. And we got a timeout by the Constitution Generals. Referees certainly take their time at the PIAA level to let you know which one it is. It is a 30-second timeout. Again, we'll go through the litany here a little bit. Brett Smith with three fouls. Devin Moore with two. Jake Wiles with one. Austin, uh, Andrew Austin with three. And Tanner Orndorff with one. Kamara Williams has a single foul. Akeem King with three fouls. Chad Andrews with one. Preto with two. Vaughn with two. Gilbert with one. And Liggins with one. 
So lots of fouls across the board for the Generals. Only one uh, King being the, uh, the issue with three fouls. And, of course, Brett Smith doesn't want to pick up his uh, third foul. A fourth foul, excuse me. He has three now. Coach uh, Julie leaves him in the game here, but then again, I don't think he's going to come out of this game, period. Clock's running with 1.10 to go, third period. Squires still sitting in that 2-3 zone. Under a minute. And they come out now into the trap. Tanner Orndorff comes out up top, passes the other side. Nice quick hands there by the Generals. King gets it out. It's Preto. They kick it out to Kemar Williams. He drives to the left side. It's off. Rebound by the Squires. And there's going to be a foul call on number 11, Floyd Preto. That's going to be his third foul. So now it's ran some clock off, but Squires get the steal and pick up a crucial foul on Preto. A chance now for the Squires to get this down under eight with 18 seconds to go in the third period. Austin looks down, gives it to Smith. Smith drives, and a foul. Number 24, Gilbert, his second foul. Smith goes to the line. He'll shoot. And that one's in. Brett now with 10 points. That one's off. Rebound Liggins. Liggins throws it up and think it bounced off one of the speakers here at the gym. In the end of the third quarter, it's a seven-point game. The general is 47. The Squires 40. We'll be right back. Do you want to find a men's store that makes your shopping experience easy? At Hanover Clothing Company, we have it all. From traditional to trendy, you'll find the perfect men's apparel. Our friendly staff will find exactly what you need. For over 82 years, we've had affordable prices on all of our clothing, including pants, suits, ties, and more. We also have big and tall sizes in every department and made-to-measure suits. Come in today to Hanover Clothing or visit us on the web at www.hanoverclothing.com. Hanover Clothing Company, 42 Carlisle Street, Hanover. All right, I want to address the situation from halftime. I do have a text message from the power that that is uh, <laughs> um, that says that the answer is 1969. So if I am incorrect, we will rectify that situation one way or another. I have all the text messages from those who answered 1968. If that situation is what it is, we will rectify that by giving you tickets as well. That will be coming from DCBN and uh, Town M Video. So we apologize if there's an error, but again, we'll double check that and get back to you. Ball's inbounds. Starts the fourth quarter. The Generals have the ball. The Squires in a 2 1 2 trapping zone. And that ball's tipped up in the air by Smith. And Tanner Orndorff's there, but quickness of number 12, Vaughn. And that shot's missed. Liggins puts it back, though. Nine-point game, fourth quarter, loser goes home for the season. Nice move by Jake Wiles. Foul is called. The number 24, Gilbert, that'll be his third. So here we are with 7.19 to go in the fourth period. Ahmad Gilbert has three fouls. Ford Floyd Pito with three fouls. Akeem King with three fouls. That's off the front of the rim.
And that one goes in. Jake Wiles now with seven points. Out of bounds to the Squires. Smith drives the lane, puts it up on the backboard, and it comes down off. Rebound by 24, Gilbert. Generals now with the ball. Here comes the trap, and timeout. Thirty-second timeout. I want to remember, remind you folks that the uh, All-Star Game, the York County League All-Star Game is coming up. It is uh, the York White Rose Lions will be sponsoring the 12-13, 2013 Senior All-Star Game March Sunday, March the 24th at Spring Grove High School in Spring Grove. The girls' game is at 2. The boys' game is at 4. Hanover boys, uh, Drew Vogel, uh, the girls, Zoe Cleary, DeLone Catholics, Brett Smith, Tanner Orndorff, Abby Sponseller, Bethany Ball, and Julie Mall, and Southwest Parker Bean, Mike Duffy, and Amy Spiegelmeyer all will perform and put their talents on display for you that day. You know, uh, put that on your calendar and uh, go and support the uh, York County League All Stars. In the corner, side steps, that ball's off, rebound, Jake Wiles. Squires down by eight, need a run here. Don't have to get them all at once. Tanner drives, and there's a blocking foul on Liggins. Raheem has his second foul. Hakeem King re-enters the game. He'll take uh, Kemar Williams' place. Ill-advised pass there, but Brett Smith gets it back. Dumps it out to Devin Moore. Hits the three. Squires needed that boost. Down to a five-point game now. Nice hustle by Tanner Orndorff. Ball gets into Leggins, though. He gets it in for two. Almost automatic when he's a foot and a half from the basket, though, isn't he? Smith looks to drive. Loses control of the ball. It's off his knee, the referee calls. Again, another lost opportunity for the Squires. Playing keep away, here we go. Squires need to get to the ball. Devin Moore's called for the for the foul. That's going to be his third. Devin Altman checks in the game. He'll come in for Andrew Austin. That's a miss. Rebound by Moore. Tipped away by number 24, Gilbert. That shot's off. It looked like a travel. There it is. There's the call. Turnover to the Squires. Austin will check back in. Devin Altman comes back out. These five gentlemen have played many much 99% of the whole game. Altman came in for a few plays. And uh, Billy killed Kelly for a few plays, but it has been all the starting five for DeLone Catholic here tonight. Jake Wiles with the ball on the right wing. Gets it over to Moore. Moore takes his man into a triple team. And we're going to have a jump ball. That still stays with DeLone Catholic. Ball's inbounds. 
Andrew Alston for three. Wow. Picked a good time to nail that. <laughs> Fifty-one forty-seven, and Devin picks up his fourth foul right there. Devin Allen comes in for Andrew Austin again. Put him in for his quickness on defense. And now precariously, Devin Moore with four fouls. Brett Smith with three fouls. Andrew Austin with three fouls. And the Squires go on the floor after the ball. Stolen by Smith. Takes it to the hoop and he's fouled. Fouled by number 10, Akeem King. That's his fourth. First one goes down. That's off. Rebound by 24 Gilbert. Williams will bring it up. Squires up again in that trapping defense. They get it into Leggins. Passes it up to Gilbert. And that's going to be off. Tanner Orndorff picks up a foul. That's his second. Gilbert misses the first. Three-point game. Devin Moore comes back in. Halfway gone almost in the fourth quarter. After last night's game, folks, if you haven't realized it yet, good teams win at the foul line. That second shot goes in. Successful teams in the tournament get foul shots at the end of the year. That's how you win them. Squires now down four. Orndorf finds, and that's nice pass from Jake Wiles to Smith. And they're going to call G Gilbert out of bounds. So a uh, opportune situation there for the Squires. Gilbert's not sure he likes the call, but uh, the referee got it. He did. Qu quick pass into Devin Moore. Devin takes it up. Nothing called. Takes it up again. Still nothing. Block shot. Gilbert has it in possession now. King has it. He'll bring it up. Down four. 3.46 to go. Nice play. Nice attempt there by Jake Wiles. Good hustle. Preto re-enters the game. Comes in for Vaughn for the Generals. Jake Wiles has some no call there. Smith bumped into him. Ball's loop. I was going to say, it looked like he might want to get to that. Dumps it into Gilbert. That's off. Liggins takes it up strong, draws the foul. It's going to be on Andrew Austin. That's his fourth. Andrew Austin has four. Devin Moore has four. Brett Smith has three. Tanner Orndorff with two. So Tanner Orndorff can give one. Jake Wiles can give one. That's off the side of the rim. Altlin will go out. Moore comes back in.
And he puts the second one in. Thirteen, quiet 13 points for Liggins. All of which coming through the uh, timeout, the lone Catholic. It's a full timeout, so we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Bay City Restaurant in Hanover is celebrating 50 years in business. Come out and celebrate with us and have fun, plus enjoy great food. Our quality food truly sets us apart with sizzling hand-cut steaks, fresh seafood selections, delicious pasta, and so much more. Plus, with 20 dinner entrees under $15, it's an affordable night out. Don't miss the excitement at Bay City Restaurant as we celebrate 50 years. Bay City Restaurant, it's more than a restaurant, it's a night out. All right, we are back. It is a 53-48 uh, lead for the Constitution. DeLone Catholic has some fouls to give. Andrew Austin has four. Devin Moore has four, so we got to they got to keep away from those two. Squires with the possession. Chance now to get this lead down to three. Again, with very few exceptions, it has been these five. That's Jake Wiles is going to come up short. Rebound, Andrew Austin. And there, that ball is knocked out of bounds by Liggins. Squires has the Squires will have ball have the ball. Way up top, Jake Wiles gives it to Smith. Smith pulls up. That's in and out. Rebound. Tanner Orndorff puts it up. Rebounded by number 11. Prito brings it up. That ball's up and off. Leggins takes it up. He misses. Another time. Stop. Oh, it looked like it got clean out of that one, but referee called it. That's going to be on Brett. That's number four. Three of the lone Catholic starters with four fouls. Two minutes, 39 seconds to go in what will be the end of one of these two team seasons. That shot's up and in. Up and off, rebounded by Andrew Austin. Gives it to Moore. I'm sorry, gives it to Brett Smith. I'm seeing things here now. Brett Smith takes a three. It's off. Tanner Orndorff with the rebound. And it's stolen out from under the Squires. Nice play there by number 10, Keem King. And there's going to be a foul. Is that on Jake? Jake Wiles. I said that earlier. Jake's got uh, one foul, so he's got plenty to give. That's his second foul of the game. That one's off. Austin with the rebound, gives it to Smith. Squires need a quick bucket here. Jake Wiles. Gives it to Orndorff, gives it back to Smith, pulls up for three. In and out of the basket. And they call it off of uh, Jake Wiles. Devin Altlin checks in for Devin Moore. That's a purely defensive scheme here. Now they don't want to pick Moore pick up his fourth, fifth foul. And oh, my ball just about got taken away. Up the court to Leggins, and he makes that one. 56-48 now. Jake Wiles driving, dumps it up and off the back of the rim and everything. Rebounded by Gilbert. Outlets to uh, Prito. And now the Squires are kind of behind the eight ball here now. It's going to be a foul on Tanner Orndorff. It will be his third. Out of 
That one's in and out. That one's off, rebounded by Austin. Squires need to get a bucket here. Devin Moore, and that's off, rebounded by Leggins. Gilbert took the ball to the hoop. It looked like he came up limping. Moore! And he's going to draw the foul. Well, not quite high enough on the board to get spun around there on that one. That's going to be number three on uh, Leggins, Raheem Leggins. Moore puts that one in. Gets it down below ten. That's off. Rebounded by the Generals. Coming up on one minute to go. And there's the ball on the floor. It's taken back by the Generals. And there's a pushing foul. Jake Wiles picks up his third foul. Williams misses the first one. They certainly are uh, giving DeLone Catholic every opportunity with the missed foul shots. And that one goes in, makes it a 10-point game again. Give it to Tanner, Tanner brings it up. Kicks it out to Devin Moore, he'll take the two. And timeout DeLone Catholic. Just want to remind you about the things that are going on here at DeLone Catholic over the next couple of days. Most importantly, this, or not most importantly, but uh, most uh, recently coming up here will be DeLone Catholic Spring M Musical. Uh, it's coming to the old gym stage this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday and Saturday, the curtain's going to go up at 7 p.m. for Rogers and Hammerstein Cinderella. Curtain call on Sunday is 2 p.m. Tickets are $5 for adults, $3 for students, and if the DeLone Catholic student has their ID, they can get in for free. About 50 seconds left here in one of these team seasons. It's 59-51 uh, Constitution. The Lone Catholic needs some good luck. Let's put it that way. They did get a basket to cut it to eight. They do have uh, the timeout now to set up a play. Looks like they're in a 1-3-1. Austin does have a foul to give. No, I'm sorry, that is four. He has four. Ball way over here. Lone needs to foul quickly. Generals aren't giving him any opportunity. There it is, a foul. It's going to be on Andrew Austin, and that will end his evening. So Andrew, regardless of the end result, Wonderful season for him. He is done for the evening. 38 seconds remain. Squires down by eight. That's off. Second of two off. Oh, okay. Tanner Orndorf gets it inbounds. Takes it to the hoop. And he's going to be fouled. 
The shot is good. That cuts the lead to six with 33 seconds to go. Number 11, Preto has his fourth foul. Kill Kelly enters the game. Devin Moore will come out. Horndorf misses the uh, third, the opportunity for three points. And there is the foul by Devin Altland. That will send Constitution to the line. Still one and one, unless they haven't changed it. Oh, it is 10 now. Okay, it is 10. So there'll be two shots. You know, Chad, I haven't seen... Uh, Violate, lane violations called this many times in a high school game as far back as I can remember. And that one rattles around but does go down. Seven point game. Right. That one's off, rebounded by Altland. They get it up to Orndorf now. The clock is running. Tanner Orndorff takes it to the basket. It's off. He gets to it again, but no, no doing. It's out of bounds, and that'll go to the Generals with 18.6 seconds remaining. Squires need a steal here quickly. Steal or a foul going after the ball. Billy Kilkelly gets called for the foul. It's a two-shot foul for the Generals. With a uh, seven-point lead. One of these would, might, may seal the fate for the Squires tonight. And there's, there's the one. Regardless of the end result, you cannot say anything but uh, joy and, and, uh, and congratulations to these Squires. They played very well tonight with very few exceptions. Not quite sure what happened there. Referees are going to get together and discuss it. I think Coach Dooley saying it's a technical foul. I'm not sure. Coach Dooley's uh, arguing for a technical foul on the Generals. I'm not quite sure exactly what it was for. Well, whatever it is, it's the lone Catholic ball. Well, whatever it was, Coach Dooley satisfied with the answer given by the referee, so we move on. 15.8 seconds to go in the game. Nine points. Orndorf's got it. Time is ticking. Kicks it out. Jake Wiles for three. That's going to be short. Devin Moore puts it up. He's going to be fouled by Leggins. Devin puts the first one in. Of 
Puts the second one in, 65 now. And there is a foul. See who they called that on. That's gone Devin Altland. Gilbert will go to the line, shoot two with 6.9 seconds to go. First one's off, off the front of the rim. And with that one down, the Squires now 63-55 with six seconds to go. That's all she wrote for DeLone Catholic's 2013 season. Congratulations to the Generals from Constitution as they move on. But this will be a uh, the end of the Squires season for both boys and girls. What a tremendous outing, though, tonight for DeLone Catholic. Brett Smith in his final game as a senior here, four-year starter for DeLone. Not quite a four-year starter. He missed the first two or three games of his freshman year. But uh, what, what can be said? I mean, the Squires of DeLone Catholic, uh, again, into the second round of the state tournament, uh, not quite what they would like to have had as far as an end result. But uh, congratulations to these young men for the effort that they've shown all year round. There's a hug from his mom, Brett Smith. And uh, I know Brett's disappointed that this couldn't have gone to a state title, but uh, what, a, what, a, what a wonderful effort. I want to thank everybody involved with uh, DCBN, Jad Sneeringer, Tommy Reese, Mark Lookenbill, Kathy Rote. Um, if I'm forgetting anybody, I apologize for that right now. But... Uh, I want to thank Dr. Theak for her uh, uh, approval and, and, uh, and support of the Lone Catholic Broadcast Network this year. Folks, this is our last broadcast for the season. Uh, we will be back with uh, baseball sometime in April. But uh, thank you all for joining us on DCBN as we went through this entire ro roller coaster ride with you for boys and girls. It's been our pleasure to bring the games to you, and uh, we'll be back sometime in baseball. For, Dan for uh, Mark Lookabill, for Jad Sneeringer tonight. I'm Dan Colgan. Good night from DCBN.